Hello and welcome back. Well today it's not a very good day outside, it's very rainy so all I'm going to do today is just show you a few of my previous restorations. And Well this is one of them. The man and the dog is all original but the car was restored quite some time ago now. There's another little dog in the back of that. And as you see, I've done with the rivet to make it look authentic. It needs a bit of a clean off actually, because it's been in the cupboard for an eye long. Still, I suppose that adds to the patina, <laughs> as they call it. But as you see, it's turned out very nicely. Both doors shut perfectly on the back. It's got a nice shine to it. And in a few years time you wouldn't even realize this was restored because all the original parts were, were reused there's nothing been replaced on it and I've also got a box there's the outer box for the actual thing I just thought I'd show you it get the door open and I'll put the dog back in anyway that's one of them and that's the um, Corgi 448 police mini van with the tracker dog and there's the display plinth anyway that's one of them this is my own personal collection I'll put that aside for a minute. And another one, as you well know, is the James Bond car. Well, this is the this is the actual 270 version. And this one, if I get the man out, this one is painted the correct colour. What they should have been painted, the 261 model was painted gold for some reason don't ask me why but that's what they wanted to do but this one has got a few more features actually because you've got the, the wheel or slashers tire slashers which come out either side this is a restored um, model you've got the uh, bulletproof shield as in the film and also you've got the revolving number plates they actually revolve. I'm not going to fiddle around with it now because it, I can't get my big fingers in there. And then you've got your bulletproof shield, or um, your guns on the front, I should say. They pop out. And of course, the ejector seat, as with the 261. But this one's actually resprayed the proper colour. This is what the Bond car, Corgi, should have sprayed the other one, really. So I thought. And that's been restored. That's an original. That's an original baddie for the actual um, car. It's not a repro or anything, but he sits in his little seat gets ejected at your leisure so I'll just shut him back in there and that clicks with a nice click shuts nicely rolls nicely also I've got the monkey machine this is a reproduction well not reproduction it's an original but it's been restored back to its original state I mean this was paint was chipping off of it everything it, when I actually bought it it was the right mess but looking at it now you wouldn't even think it had been restored I mean look at the rivets that they look like the originals it's all been painted to the correct colour and And that is all the original fingers, figures inside as well. They're not reproductions. 
And that's a nice little car for somebody for a display piece. I haven't got a box for this one. Same as with the 270, I haven't got a box for that. Also, there's another one here. Man from Uncle. We all know the Man from Uncle. Napoleon Solo and Elia Kuryakin. It all works. If you watch there. I don't know if you can see it. And he's popping out, shooting his gun. That's all restored. And again, rivets look original. But there's another nice display piece here for your collection. I must admit, these do look nice in a nice glass cabinet on the wall. And there's another set I've done. Very difficult to get hold of these are. You see them going for really silly amounts of money on eBay. But these are the original cars. They've all been totally restored. And I had a really hard time finding the proper cars these to do these. Because you've got to get the proper Citroen. There are lots of these on eBay for sale, but they haven't got the twin headlight fittings on the front. So you've got to actually buy the right one if you're going to restore one of these. A lot of people try to put them on there, like they drill a hole in the roof and they just stick a couple of lights on the front, but they don't look right. They're not the right ones. You've got to get the proper one. I mean, as you see, I've done it all properly with the rivets. And this is an actual proper... Monte Carlo Citroen. It was um, this is the original colour it was when it started out. This is a proper Monte Carlo Citroen. Because I wanted to get a, a proper set of these because they really do look nice with a snow backdrop on your plinth. They're really a nice display item. And you got the rover there, and you got actually you shine a light in the back. The lights will light up, and that's that's a proper one free six well I don't know what number it is but that is the proper rover as well it's got the proper lights in the front it's not a made up one it was the original Monte Carlo rover brought back to life and also the correct mini for this set is this little beauty here and that one there was hard to get hold of as well because you've got the, they've got the three lights in the front the spotlights so if you see any of these sets for sale anywhere and they haven't got the free headlights like that with a blank roof sometimes you see a little light on the top of that well it's not the right one this is the correct one for the set and that was very hard to get over it's all been totally restored and that's in a nice little backdrop so you can display it in your cabinet another nice looking thing and then last but not least we got I'll put that there we've got a well a Corgi Batmobile but this is a later version it's the wide wheel version now this one I actually made this box myself I've got templates and I can actually make these boxes there are a lot of messing around but as you get them right you can do a nice little job with them if I open this up, I've got all the pieces on there properly done. Right, now this is the actual Wide Wheels version. This was the 1970s. And this only came with the Batman. It's got the red headlights, but it all works nicely. That's for your uh, missiles. And you can tell it's the seventies version because on the bottom of the thing you've got Batman and you've got National Periodical Publications printed on the bottom. And a lot of the time people try to do red wheel versions of these but on the base plate if it doesn't say Batman in big letters like the old 1966 version then you know it's a false one somebody just put a set of red wheels on it but I have got a red wheel version and it is 
an original one but it's got the it hasn't got this base plate on if it hasn't got this base plate or what am I saying if it's got this base plate on it's a false one if it's a red wheeler but if it's got the old 1966 style base plate with the big letters saying Batmobile you know it's an original but I mean this is a proper 1970s wide wheel version I just thought I'd do one that I just like the look of the wide wheels on that really but that's come out very nice the old chain cutter works there you go there's the old wide wheel Batmobile and um, it's not a bad looking little car that's come out very nicely so anyway just thought I'd show you a few of the um, previous restorations I've done and next time I shall probably show you a few more little tips on restoration but that's all for today goodbye for now